So, um, sorry, it's, uh, I'm going to be in the way of somebody, so I apologize. So the way zucchini works is you go into the system and um, the first thing that you see is uh, what's hot. So if you can see the nav bar at the bottom, there's five different uh, options there. And these are things which other people have done in the system. Now I haven't actually logged in yet, so uh, anybody's free to go to the system, um, either download the app or go to the website uh, and, and just see what's happening in there. So I can press on one of them and it'll show me where I am. Uh, and this is a particular request that somebody's made. It's categorized as a delivery of groceries. It's 1.7 kilometers away from here. Um, and it's, you know, somebody, I want you to do my weekly shop. I'm going to pay you seven pounds to do the delivery. And maybe that's something which I'd like to have as well. So I can click on, I want this to the red button. Um, and that will allow me to populate my own request. And I can alter that and set it up in the way that I want it. Uh, if I try and post that request and say, well, you need to, uh, you need to put a deadline in. Um, which I can do. Let's just make it tomorrow. Uh, and it'll take my location automatically wherever I am. Again, I can put in a different address or move the pin around to wherever it is I want it. Uh, but it shouldn't actually let me do that because I haven't logged in yet. So at some point, let's see if we'll, it'll I'd like to create an account. So um, you can sign in with your Facebook credentials. So I'll do that. So I've signed into Facebook previously. Hopefully that should work. I see people are tweeting. That's good. Okay. Right, and then you see now there's two weekly shops in there, so it's gone in there. So now I'm signed in, I can go and, and have a look. These are the things that I've done. I've got some things in there, like the first one there, which is you know, paint the house facade. That's a waiting an offer. Nobody's given me an offer for that so far. Um, but uh, you know, that, that may happen. Uh, likewise, I have uh, things which have expired. So it may be that somebody didn't, uh, didn't decide to, uh, uh, to service the request, maybe because they thought I'm just a cheap bastard. Um, or uh, you know, it, may, it may be because, uh, um, for whatever reason, they're not available. And there is the facility within here for people to actually uh, bargain. So they can come back to me and say, well, if you were offering 25 quid, then I might be interested. So, and I can essentially go through this. And when I receive an offer, I can have a look at the offers that I receive. So somebody called Nick B has said, you know, sent me a message. Um, and uh, I can bargain with that person. And we can come to an agreement. Once we come to an agreement, on the top right, you'll see there's an accept button. Um, and at that point, that person uh, my, my credit card or my PayPal account is debited, but the money is held. It doesn't go to the seller yet. Uh, that person delivers a service, and once I'm happy with the service, I hit a pay button that turns up, and then they get their 90%, and I get to buy zucchini, get 10%. That's how we make that money. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, 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 really, that's really it. Um, that's uh, gosh, lots of tweaks. Um, the browse function just allows you to see what's nearby to you. So you know, nearby less than a kilometer, and more than a kilometer, further and further away. You can set up your alerts and keywords so that you can get just the things that you're interested in. It comes either within the app or you get an email. Later on, we'll hopefully do SMS as well. Uh, or you can sort it by time, what's expiring um, earlier or later. Alternatively, by how much money they're offering. You can also see it on a map as well. Um, and you'll see the sort of different um, different icons depending on whichever one it is. And if you click on an icon, you'll see, see the thing that comes through as well. Uh, and likewise, on the selling side, um, you know, I could be a seller as well. Uh, and I can have a set of alerts. Um, and uh, so depending on which, uh, which things I'm interested in, maybe, you know, maybe I'm interested in doing uh, restaurant orders, so I click on that. And so I'll be alerted when somebody's looking for some food to be delivered. We do goods as well as services, so if you've got something you want to sell, you know, it could be anything automotive, uh, some electronics, it could be uh, furniture, whatever you like, you can, you've always got the option to do it here. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we'll do anything as long as it's legal. <laughs> um, uh, Olga asked me one other thing, uh, which is how do you find a, uh, um, a technical co-founder? And uh, so Tiago and myself are, are technical, but not um, not good at developing apps. That's not something that we have skill in. So we do have a third co-founder who's not here, unfortunately, uh, Nick, who is our technical co-founder. And uh, that was an interesting adventure when we started because uh, I, th I would say that today, um, if you have the technical skills to do something like this, you probably have the upper hand in terms of certainly the choice of doing the things that you want to do. And, uh, and we talked to a lot of people, and some of them we really liked, but we couldn't convince to be a part of the team. Some of them you know, just didn't share the same vision as us. And uh, I think the key thing that came out for us was that you, you know, technical people um, have, in this day and age, have got the choice of living their lives very much the way that they want to. 
So if they don't want to be a nine to five person working in office for somebody else, and I'm probably preaching to converted here, um, they don't have to. Uh, they, you know, they can be contractors, they can work at their own pace, work on the projects that are interesting to them. And the reason why we attracted Nick, who's a really good developer and has a lot of uh, past uh, successes in the app space, is because he liked the vision, he liked what we were doing. Um, and he thought that this was something that was cool and interesting and that things that he could, he could think of a thousand different things that ought to be done and the way it ought to be done and that all appealed to him. And then the other thing that he really liked um, was that when he asked us how much work we'd done, technical work we'd done so far, we said, well, we haven't actually started. He thought, that's great. But I don't have to worry about anybody else's rubbish code that is already out there. I can develop it all myself. And that was appealing to him as well.